Um, I am going to go ahead and uh, till the field today. It's cold, but it's not frozen. Um, the ground is not frozen, and we have some new equipment that we want to make sure we know how to use before spring comes. Um, this year is going to be our first time farming, so everything is new to us, and we figured we might start early, so if we see that there's anything that we're doing wrong or that we need to purchase in order to make the job right, we have the time to do it before the actual growing season is starting um, instead of, you know, trying to do everything when things actually need to be growing and we have to plant and, you know, have a bunch of other stuff to do. So it's a nice day. It's uh, pretty cloudy, but it's not rainy. Cold, but not frozen. Um, I hope the ground is not too wet. I'm going to start and we'll see how it goes. This is the field I measured. Our beds are going to be about 200 feet long. So I kind of measured it. It doesn't have to be exact, but I don't want to till the whole thing. I'm just going to um, till 200 feet length. Uh, by I don't know we'll see well probably the whole width of the field but just 200 feet um, long so let's start Okay, so what happened is that I started tilling, like you see here, but it's just not going deep enough. I thought that we would be able just to uh, till the field because we already worked this um, field last season or two seasons ago, but then last season we didn't do anything here. So everything is just too compact and um, we just needed a little bit more depth. So we hooked up the uh, plow and we're going to go ahead and plow the field and after we plow the field um, we'll go back with the or we'll get manure, we'll spread manure, then we will go back with the tiller and till and then with the better we're going to make the beds. So that's going to be a lot of work but um, it's going to be much better that way I think. So we're going to go ahead and um, and keep plowing and um, once we're done with the plowing we're going to go um, back to the tealing. All right.
Okay, so a couple of uh, notes here. Before I tell you uh, what we've learned so far, just please um, take into consideration that we are very new to this. Um, if you are a farmer or if you have any um, experience with this kind of work and I make no sense, then please comment below. I would love to uh, learn from your experience and I'm sure you can uh, save me some uh, work time. But if you are new like us, um, I would love to share what we've learned so far with you so maybe I can save you some time. So a couple of notes here. Um, first of all, uh, wait until your soil is not um, completely wet. I mean, you can't do this kind of stuff when it's totally muddy. Um, I'm not really sure that it will work very good if it's completely dry either. So you maybe want it a little bit um, on the moist side, but not muddy. And um, one thing with the plow that you saw us working with, we got it off of um, Craigslist for about $60. Um, it's basic. There's nothing really special about it. It throws the dirt into one side. So what we need to do is drive down the field plowing, then lift the plow when we get here, then go back to um, the other side of the field and go back down this way when the two side wheels are going to be going inside the furrow that we have here. This way the dirt will always be thrown into the same direction, the same side, and we won't end up with a big mountain of dirt and then nothing and then another big mountain of dirt and then nothing. That's one thing. Um, go really slow and if you feel like the tractor is getting stuck or if it's not really going, uh, smoothly lift the plow a little bit it might be just too deep um, what else I think that's about it um, what we will do now is um, I'll keep plowing I still have a lot to go so I'll keep working on that and um, we will be looking for some uh, manure to spread here and I will uh, hopefully show you that in another video so make sure to visit me on the blog at ladyleeshome.com and also uh, make sure to search, subscribe and like and comment and um, that's it I'll see you next time